Yes. Now let's see. I bet Clint's waiting for us, so why don't we go to the Liberal News Service and see what he has to say? Yeah, hopefully he's managed to learn something useful about the Intelligent Division members. Here's open! Let's go talk to Clint. I don't know where the fuck he is. I don't... I don't know. Let's just stumble around drunkenly until we find him. Clint! Clint! I need you, Clint. I need... I, I need... No, shut up. Shh, 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 Clint. I need, I need your help. I need, I need... I need some help, Clint. Clint, I need, I need your help. Also, these guys are dead. So, that's ah, fine. Uh, so, they're not in the bar. That's not it. That... Maybe this is it? Or is this the Fisherman's Guild? That's the Fisherman's Guild. Why is there a Fisherman's Guild? Is this it? No. Where are they? Clint! I'll just keep walking around. They've got to be somewhere. Got to be somewhere. It's not that. Maybe it's that green thing. Maybe it's this. Actually, this looks more like a restaurant to me. Yeah, it's a coffee house. Damn it. Oh, here it is. Found it. I found it. Uh, he's probably upstairs. Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, Clint! Fire us. Hey, you're here. Amazing. Dorothy actually got the message to you guys and didn't screw it up. Well, miracles never cease. So, I hear you won your match today. Dorothy was in an absurdly cheerful mood when she got back from it. Cool. Clint, about what we discussed earlier. Straight to business, I see. Take a look. Got some background on those big shots. Nile held out a black file folder. Is this from the Royal Army? Yeah, nothing super secret, but I was able to get some documents. Let's just say they're on loan from some army contacts. But keep that under your hat, okay? Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and read it here. Estelle and Joshua opened the black folder. Ooh. Well, let's read up. <clears throat> Colonel Alan Rickard. Born 1168. Yes, that's what that number is. Silence! In the Rouen region, a liberal. Graduated head of his class from the military academy, later assigned to the mobile task force led by Cassius Bright. 1192, recognized for distinguished service under Cassius Bright in the Hundred Days War. Appointed as staff of the military operations office after Colonel Bright's retirement. 1201, suggested formation of the intelligence division. Queen Alicia approves the request and appoints him as the first commander of the new branch. That's pretty impressive. Well, he is the man in charge. Well, he seemed to be pretty sharp. Looks like Major Sid was right about him serving under Dad ten years ago. So Dad really was a colonel. That's why he retired. He had respect and fame and all that. All right, Captain Amalthea. Captain Canon Amalthea. Canon. Born 1175 in the liberal capital city of Glancel. Her excellent grades at the military academy earned her a place on the staff of the military operations office shortly after graduation. 1201. Reassigned to the newly formed intelligence division on Colonel Rickard's recommendation. Later appointed as Colonel Rickard's aside de camp. Uh, aide de camp. I'm sure there's some actual pronunciation for that, but I don't know. Assisting directly with the Military Operational Command. Excellent grades again, what another inte intellectual big shot looks like. That appointment means she was been working with Colonel Rickards for a long time. I wonder if she showed loyal to him. And second Lieutenant Lawrence. So this is a dude. We finally discovered this is a dude. Second Lieutenant Lawrence Belga. Age and nationality unknown. Invited by Colonel Rickard to join the Intelligence Division while serving in the Jester Hunting Corps. Previous activities unknown been in disguise all along. He's not even from liberal, liberal. What's up with this odd job as a mercenary being one big blank spot? I don't know. The hunting court, where the Jaegers are known as the best mercenaries in the business for a good reason. I'm kidding. So maybe the colonel was just looking for a really skilled fighter? It is a possibility. And I think I've heard this jester division somewhere before. Close hold. Thanks for this, Clint. At least we know a little bit more about who we're dealing with. As long as it's useful. I've learned a few juicy tidbits while I was digging around, too. Juicy tidbits? For example, First Lieutenant Julia Suarez of the Royal Guardsmen is currently wanted for questioning. Was in the Academy the same year as Captain Amelia. Really, now? You never give off the impression that they came, they got along all that well. Maybe it's because they were Academy rivals. Kanoa's just got brains, and Julia's got the combat skills. Pretty big difference there. Ah, I see. I imagine so. Looks like Julia's always been the super serious knightly type, huh? Yep. And this has nothing to do with the military, mind you. You kids know about Princess Claudia, right? Princess Claudia? Sounds familiar. If memory serves, she was orphaned when the crown prince and the wife died. She's the granddaughter of Her Majesty Queen Alicia. Right. She's not well known, but she is a direct descendant of the queen. From what I can take up, she lives in the royal keep and pretty much stays there most of the time. It seems someone's been looking for prospective marriage candidates for her. Huh. 
That's not super unusual for Ridge Ramblers, but still, just gross. That's not the point. The point is here, who is this someone? Ha! <laughs> Spot on, kid. Could it be? Wait, no. I guess Colonel. Let's go with Colonel. Hey, not bad, kid. It is Colonel Rickard who's been scouting foreign countries for a suitable candidate, it looks like. I knew it. But isn't that kind of weird? Why would he even be involved in setting up an arranged marriage? Pretty interesting, ain't it? And now there's something I want from you two. Huh? You want us to win tomorrow's tournament and get some information from Ninpur, right? All about the long and the short of it? Oh, okay. You're not shy about asking for stuff, are you? Hey, I got you information. It's called give and take, sweetheart. True, and it's been helpful. Oh, all right. We'll let you know if we find out anything. That's what I like to hear. So if it all goes well today, I might not even need to rely on you two. Ding, 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 ding. Excuse me for a sec. Hello, liberal news. Oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you to call in. What? Starting now? Okay, God, I'll meet you there. What's going on? It's already curtain run. But I gotta go meet someone. Sounds like you're in for a late night. The sun's going down as it is. Hey, I'm a night owl anyway. I've only been up during the daytime while this crazy chick is being trained. But hey, no biggie. You kids can just kick back and relax while I'm out. Gotcha. Good luck with your work. You two, don't screw up tomorrow's match. I'll do my best, Clint. Bye. Well then, what should we do now? I guess we should stop by the guild and then go back to the hotel. We ought to report him with the info that Clint just got us. Fine by me. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go take care of that. Should be nope. Uh, yep. And then up and the stairs. And then back this way. Somewhere. Get onto the fence. God damn. I think it's up. Yes. Yeah, how fast that person's charging away. Alright, this camera angle's fucking bullshit. There we go. Uh fucking Well, there's the hotel. So let's just pop in and rest real quick. Actually, no, we're gonna we're gonna take care of that after we go to the guild anyway. It just upsets me that they're dead. And they're, like, no matter how good the armor is and no matter how hard they swing, they still die because they're so underleveled. It's ridiculous how underleveled they are. Anyway, let's talk to, talk to you. Estelle, Joshua, I offer my congratulations on advancing to the championship bout. It is a shame to hear that Kurt lost, but I hear it is a very good match. That was pretty intense. We didn't go patting ourselves on the back yet, though. We weren't better than Kurt, not by a... Whatever the fuck that word was. True, we just got lucky. We had Zane along with Olivia's guns and magic to cover us for our mistakes. They were the only reason we made it as far as we have. You two are very humble, a rare quality these days. By the way, have you learned any more information? Well, Joshua explained the details of Clint's finding to L9. So our second Lieutenant Lawrence is part of the Jaeger Corps. More specifically, the Jester Division. First I've heard of that name, definitely. I better look it up. Does the Guild and the Jaeger Corps have a working relationship? Not at all. If anything, we consider one another to be business rivals. We make it our business not to interfere in matters of state, you see, whereas the Jaegers largely revel in such matters. They're often employed in border disputes and have quite opposing viewpoints with us regarding safety of the common man. That doesn't sound very nice. So I take it there's no chance of getting inform any information on this. I wouldn't say no chance, but a bit of cloak and dagger might be able to find the information you seek. I would take several days to gather the necessary intel, however, so you wouldn't have it before the championship. Is that alright? Championship, championship. This has nothing to do with the competition, so yeah, if you please. Thank you, Elnon. Also, regarding the Colonel's hunt for Princess Claudius's future husband, we've uncovered a few more morsels of information which have some connection. Alright. Remember, the Imperial Royal Family will be arriving in Grantsville during the Queen's birthday celebration. Uh, we don't know their name, but we do know this is the first time someone from the family has come to Liberal since the war ten years ago, so it's very significant news. I see, so you're right when it comes to the United States of his marriage. I don't know a thing about the Imperial Royal Family. I mean, the only Imperial I've ever met is Olivia. The princess has just celebrated her 16th birthday. Seems much too early for her to be married. I suspect there may be politics at work here. Wow, 16? Geez, we're only 16 ourselves. It is the appropriate age for a young lady to make her debut in high society. But unless we reverted to a much repressed time, it is much, much too soon for marriage. Indeed. As I said, I suspect that the political motives to be pushed for wedlock. Finding that motive will no doubt prove to be a most valuable endeavor. Gotcha. If we can earn that invite of the castle, we'll be able to investigate much more easily. We need to secure a win in tomorrow's championship. Hmm. As dangerous as this may be, I've also got something for you. Here. Grantsel Sewer Key B. What the heck is this to? The sewers. I'll just keep a few on hand after Captain Branch. Never know when they might come in handy. This one should open one of the access gates near the Grand Arena. There's a pretty strong monster down there, so I figure it might be a suitable training. Stop telling me to train! I'm not training for nothing! Bring it! Uh, we can tell you use the warm-up. Thank you, L9. I'm just doing my job. 
Make sure you don't head down without your backup, though, if you just the two of you are toast. No problems there. We'll head down with Zan and Olivia after we meet them tomorrow. Up. Oh, little, oh, little, oh, little. Oh. Wow, it's late. Should probably get back to the hotel. Hey, you two! Yes. Ah, it's guards. Hmm, what's going on? We're on patrol. Nighttime patrols have been increased as part of their counterterrorism measures. So it's best to avoid getting out after 9 o'clock, if at all possible. You should too good up. You two should go home. I think that's a little obnoxious. What if we need to go out after 9 o'clock? So the higher-ups make the decisions, miss. Sorry to cause any trouble, but everyone has to abide by the rules. By the way, where is it that you two live? We're staying at the hotel on North Block. We'll be there for the duration of the martial arts competition. Hmm. Hold on a second. Could have sworn I've seen you two somewhere before. Ha! Huh. Hey! These kids are in the tournament. You know that you mention it. Oh, were you guys in the audience? Ha! <laughs> well, we're on security detail. That match today was pretty incredible. Tomorrow's champ- Tomorrow's the championship, no? We'll escort you to the hotel so you can rest up for your big fight. Uh, very well. We accept. And then they stab me in the back. Thanks for escorting us. We appreciate it. You gotta be kidding. We're big fans of yours. We're all in the same army, but I don't know. Those special op types just run me in the wrong way for some reason. No kidding. I just don't get what goes on in their heads. Don't you think talking like this is a little disrespectful to Colonel Rickards, though? Well, that's why we're putting so much faith in your participation. Good luck with the tournament tomorrow. Ah, thanks. We'll do everything we can. So long, friendly soldiers. Bye. Whew, this is all kind of complicated, huh? I don't think those guys know a thing about the Colonel's plot. They seem to think the intelligence vision is just regular soldiers. Whatever info comes down from the chain of command, they accept it as the truth. Hmm, well, I had to make enemies of them since they're all rooting for us, after all. Regardless of anything else, it'd be the wise not to start up trouble with the ranks and the first soldiers. What do you say we rest in a room tonight and do some sleeping and stuffs? Ah, um, works for me. Hold on, I'm actually gonna... Uh, wait, what? No, shut up, can you... Oh, alright, fine, fuck it. Uh, where... Which room was mine? Was it this one? No. Was it this one? No. I think it was upstairs. Was it upstairs? Was it upstairs in this one? No. Was it this one? Aha! Huh? Huh? Did you hear something? Dot, dot, dot. Be on alert when we go inside and be ready for a fight if things don't look right. Huh? I think we got a trespasser. Might be explosive set, so be careful. Oh, you're kidding, right? I need you to do exactly as I tell you no questions. If you'd rather stay out here, that's fine with me. No, no way, I'm fine. Let's go inside. All right. I'm betting it was Siege leaving a note. Oh, looks like he got away. It's strange. In the sense that anyone's been in here. Nor does it feel like there are any traps set. Can seriously tell that kind of thing? Yeah, it's called being aware of your surroundings. I guess this is all that was left behind. Want a letter? Joshua broke the seal on the letter. Tonight, at the stroke of ten, come to the cathedral. Please, tell no one of this. And that's it? In what cathedral? The huge church over in West Block? It's already almost ten o'clock now. It sure sounds suspicious, but nothing's ventured, nothing gained. What do you think, should we go for it? Absolutely not! What was that for? Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Like, didn't those soldiers just say they were going to reinforce tonight's patrols? You bet they'll keep a close watch on the West Block, too. All right. So I'd hate to just pretend we never got it. I'll go by myself, then. Huh? It'll be easier for one person to stay hidden than two. Shouldn't have any real trouble getting to the cathedral unnoticed. Dot, dot, dot. Listen. If all I'm going to do is scope out the situation I can handle it on my own, I just need you to stay here. Hey. Huh? I'm no less a bracer than you. Eh. I can handle myself and I won't slow you down. Eh. Your silver tongue is not going to work well on me this time. Eh. Still, that's not what I meant. I know it's not what... I know... <laughs> It's not that you don't trust me. I can tell you're worried about me, or more worried for me. What are you not telling me? Dot, dot, dot. I can tell I'm keeping something from you. Closer to the year than just about anyone, Joshua. There's nothing you can keep from me. Not for very long, anyway. Dot, dot, dot. I'm impressed. Huh? Alright, if you want to come with me, I won't try to stop you. It's almost ten now, though, so we have to hurry. Oh, okay. But I want you to promise me something. If anything goes wrong, you do exactly as I tell you. One wrong move could be fatal. Okay, I promise. Let's get a move on, then. Well, I'll tell you guys. Wait, can I sleep in the bed to heal up? Cause we're dead. Let me f fucking sleep. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. You know what? We're just gonna go. We're just. Oh god. We're just gonna go. I'm. I'm too curious to put this off to another day. Up. Oh. Oh man, there's guards everywhere. Shit. Looks like they're patrolling. If any of those soldiers. Uh, spotters will probably get led back to the hotel. We need to study their movements and take whatever chances we can to pass by them undetected. Okay, so... Oh, wow, it really widened that fucking view, didn't it? So, let's see. There comes a guy. So, the second he goes by, I'm just gonna go. 
we need to go to the west block, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot of guys around. How am I supposed to get there? There's a dude there as well. Okay. Well, then I guess we need to go this way? Okay, this isn't blocked off. Which means this is probably the way we need to be. Well, that was close. Okay, maybe we go up and around. So far, so good. Alright, this is a landing port. This probably isn't going to help us all that much, is it? Well, let's, since we can go here, let's just quickly check it out. Okay, yeah, this isn't going to help us. Let's back out. Okay, um, maybe we need to go down and around, actually. So, we're here now. We're in the east block, which is not where we want to be. Okay, go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Up. Oh, damn it. What do you think you're doing? Crap. Spotted already. Ah, oh, this is gonna be tough. Damn troublemakers. You need to stay indoors while we try to keep an eye out for terrorist activity. Fuck. Alright. Aw, oh, man. Back to square one. We just have to try it again. I was educational, though. Some of the soldiers seem to have stationary posts while there are others to move around. Keep our distance from soldiers easy enough, but we need... Um, we can't see nearly as well as night, so as long as we don't approach them from the front, we should be able to get by them. The main thing is we have to learn the patrol routes and stay out of direct line of sight. Alright, so, the direct assault to the west is not viable, but the way I was going does seem to be the correct path. So, we just need to be careful here. Okay, so it's not up. I don't think it's going to be that way. Oh, yeah, there's a gap. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Okay. Ah, damn it, he turned around. It's bullshit. Nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, all right? I just need to... I just need to do it slowly and not... Fuck up, all right. Okay, go. It's also awkward turning the camera. Like, every time I need to turn the camera. There's a lot of people here. It's very crowded, this path. Go. Okay. Apartment store. Now where? I think I want to head, like, this way. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Now we're in the south block. Which is probably going to be pretty crowded with soldiers. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's back up. Back it up. Okay, I don't see anybody going for it. Up oh, and back in the north block, which is not where I want to be. Okay. Nice and slow. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. Sorry, I'm not speaking. I'm being very focused. So that's the way out of the city, which is not where we want to go. I think what I want is just, like, down the street. Okay. Okay, everybody, everybody be quiet. Don't. Oh, man. Oh, I did it. Okay, we're in the west block. Okay, there's people there. Okay. There's somebody right there. Yeah, careful. Okay. That's no, not a dead end. Damn it! Fucking horse shit. Oh my god, fuck, fuck you. Oh, god damn it. I thought, like, I had to take the sewer. Alright, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. 